Hey there guys and welcome to part 2 of my Cinema 4D tutorial and this is all about the post-production of what we create in part 1. So if we jump into After Effects we'll import the stuff we rendered out of Cinema 4D and composite it together to create something that looks a little bit better. So we'll just double click anywhere in that box and navigate to where we rendered it out and you should have a file um, ending in .aec which is a um, After Effects composition file uh, for Cinema 4D and we get um, two folders, one with some pass, uh, special passes and one with the render. If we double click on here you can see we have part of our render but for some reason um, after Effects doesn't bring in the actual render that's considered a special pass so if we drag that on top you can see we have um, our file and we have our wave and everything looks good ish um, so we just need to do some adjustments to this uh, to make it perfect so if we look through these um, separate files you can see we have um, some grass um, which is here and this looks pretty cool um, I'm sure we can overlay it to our other grass here and it looks pretty good um, but that's not what we need for now um, we have our grass depth of field uh, which will be useful we have um, the grass separate pass which we don't actually need and we also have um, another grass layer which again we don't really need all we really need is these two here the only reason I render them out is because I'm not entirely sure which ones you need so it's best to have too many than not enough and having to find you have to render it all out all over again. So, okay, so let's uh, start um, by adding some depth of field and for that we're going to actually uh, drag this um, separate pass of the depth into a new composition and we also want to add our grass depth which is one of these um, is it this one? yeah so we want uh, this one in here as well and this is what we'll be using so what we're going to do is under each of these just go to blow and sharpen um, fast blur and just add one or even 0.5 and copy that onto the other one as well um, and we just want to kind of add these together I'm not sure which one um, we want In fact, we might only need um, the grass one. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, next, if we go back to our initial comp, um, what I'm going to do is actually pre-compose this whole thing. So I'm just gonna drag the render into a new comp below and we can start playing with it in here. So we're gonna right click, add a new adjustment layer and call this depth. And I'm going to be using a plugin called FL Depth of Field, or you could use a camera lens blur option. And we're just going to, first of all, drag our depth pass onto here, like so, and hide it. And under our depth, we want to add it here, um, increase um, the radius a bit and choose the focal point to be the ball. So now we have um, some depth of field, you know you can turn it up if we want more blur um, and it looks uh, pretty realistic and pretty cool. 
Um, again, you don't have to have any depth of field if you don't want. But one thing that will really sell this is motion blur. So we're going to make a new adjustment layer and call this motion blur. I'm only naming the file so it's easier to see what we have down here. Uh, it's really useful in workflows to do it. And I'm going to be using a plugin called Real Smart Motion Blur, blur and change it down to around 0.2 just so we get this nice bit of motion at the start and then when it collides um, there's some motion blur um, on the grass as well so this is looking pretty cool and yeah the next thing we want to do is add um, a background sky object and this is a technique I I uh, use it in a few of my intros, um, I'm sure there's an easier way to do it, but I actually use um, Element 3D to create my sky, so I'm actually going to add a new solid, call it Element, um, and add the plugin down here. Now under the scene, I'm going to insert a um, panorama image. Uh, for this I'll use um, the light skyline one and I'm just going to drop the saturation um, a little bit and just click OK then under uh, render settings environment showing background and just drag it below our scene and we also need to make sure we have our alpha channel on this render so just right click interpret footage main and straight and now we have if I go to 50% um, a background now it doesn't look brilliant um, it needs some tweaking as well as there's a building in the background so we're just going to uh, rotate it round like so and one thing you can do if you have a background and you have an alpha channel is under the render uh, file go right click uh, key correct and light wrap choose the background layer as the element file and um, change this to multiply and now we have some of the background kind of wrapping around our scene and now we can just start doing some basic color correction so I'm going to um, enable motion blur on our element layer as well and under our render I'm just going to go to tint and make this about 20% and then color correction curves just bring it down a bit uh, gives us a bit more contrast in our scene and keep going um, between this and our motion blur layer uh, to see how it's looking um, especially when it hits the ground um, as we want our grass to look realistic um, if you don't like the light wrap uh, you can just turn it off we've got quite a light background so something like this will probably look uh, better uh, depends on your scene and we can also add another adjustment layer calling it color correction as well as a vignette layer so a new solid make it black uh, drag it below the color correction go to our ellipse tool and just double click and it creates a perfect ellipse uh, go to subtract then feather it out quite a lot and make the opacity about 30 and now we have um, a really subtle vignette around our scene so under the color correction uh, we'll just add another curves to the whole thing um, again skipping through it seeing how it looks um, and just really doing some minor adjustments until we get something that we like 
Um, you can try turning the depth of field back on uh, to see how it looks. Maybe it's a little too much, so maybe keep it uh, quite low. And I'm just going to change the iris to more of a hexagon. So if I uh, turn the highlight on um, and the lightness down, uh, we get these little dots, uh, but it's completely up to you uh, how this looks. Everyone's will look different, so don't worry if it doesn't look like this. And if it looks better, which it probably will, then good for you. Um, I'm just teaching you the techniques. So we want it to cut out right when um, it hits the edge. So here, so we'll just trim the composition down to here. And then when you're happy with it, um, you can render it out and see how it looks. So this is the basics of uh, the post-production. Uh, nothing too difficult. A few techniques uh, thrown in um, to make it look a little bit different. The sky is what I use in a lot of my intros if I want a background in post-production. Uh, especially with a lot of camera movements, the uh, camera imported from Cinema 4D works perfectly with it. Uh, so that's really useful. So yeah, I'll add a bit of sound, put it before and after the video so you know what you're creating. And I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, something a bit different, not intro tutorial, it's just a technique, covers the grass and collisions um, and all the cool stuff. So yeah, if you like this kind of tutorial then give a thumbs up, leave a like, leave a comment, share it around and I'll see you later guys.